Have you ever thought of how different your life would be if you could taste the color burgundy? You'd be able to find out if you had synesthesia. Synesthesia is a neurological quality in which senses and mental perceptions are crossed, so you can see the colors of notes in a bird's song. Someone who has this particular condition is commonly known as a synesthete. The idea of synesthesia has been around since the 19th century and was studied heavily in the scientific field until the mid-20th century. Until now, when more modern researchers have continued using newer neurological data, which was previously unknown. It has been assumed that synesthetic cases differed for each person, but it has been found that there are some underlying similarities that these people possess, such as seeing lighter colors for higher sounds and darker colors for lower sounds. Synesthesia is predominantly found in women, and studies show that in the U.S., as many as three times the amount of women have synesthesia over men. It has also been found that left-handed men and women are more likely to have some form of synesthesia, and that it usually is inherited from family members. People that are synesthetes are neurologically sound and can have an average or sometimes above average intelligence as well. There are eight separate forms of synesthesia that can be found within human beings, but we will focus on the main five. The first of these and most common is grapheme, also known as color synesthesia where letters of the alphabet or numbers are given a shade of color. Spatial sequence synesthesia comes next and is when people see numerical sequences as points in space. It is found that these people have remarkable memories. Number form synesthesia is where a mental map of numbers appears whenever someone thinks of numbers. Personification is when ordered sequences like months, days, and ordinal numbers are correlated with a personality. Sometimes objects are also imbued with a personality. Chromesthesia is a common type of synesthesia, which is useful for musicians. This type of synesthesia is affected by voice, music, and sounds, and produces a color, brightness, or hue for each separate sound or note. Olivier Messiaen, a French composer, organist, and ornithologist, was diagnosed with chromesthesia, and being a musician, this changed his creative process greatly. Messiaen was a professor of music at the Paris Conservatoire and wrote many pieces during his time there. One of his most famous works, Le Merlet Noir, a staple for French flute and piano repertoire. Being diagnosed with this certain type of synesthesia helped him gain a unique sound over others. He said that he perceived certain colors when he heard different chords, especially ones that came from modes. Combinations of these different colors led to him having a certain way of arranging and creating his music. In some of Messiaen's scores, he would notate what he called color in the music so that he could aid the conductor in interpretation. He also stated that he found the composers such as Matteverdi, Mozart, Chopin, and Stravinsky all had very colorful music. With the different types of synesthesia, there comes many different types of art forms. Some people make music, whereas others can draw or paint what they see, creating art. Some people will listen to a song in color and draw what they see while they listen. Others have abstract paintings in which objects will have personalities that they perceive to be real.